The Colorado Football Spring Showcase at Folsom Field was a success. It was a fun day. The wind that we were expecting held off. The rain held off. And we got some of the best that the Boulder has to offer. And we got a preview max of the 20. 22 buffs, an offense that hopes to really spread the ball around this year. An offense that uh, should it, should expect to take a huge step this year, and how are they going to do that with this receiving core and the uh, elevated quarterback play as well? We saw a lot of R.J. Snead today, the Baylor transfer. Saw Daniel Arias making an impact. Snead was the guy that really stuck out to me in terms of the explosion that he could bring to the table this fall. It's a running back position. No Alex Fontenot today, but you saw Deion Smith get involved. You saw Jay Lee Stacks get involved. And then right here, you saw the walk-on, Charlie Offerdahl, get involved as well. It's a Colorado offense that has some pieces. It's an offensive line that they feel really good about their first group. That's something that they learned with this spring in terms of uh, that group becoming more cohesive. And, yeah, having this offense, yes, they protected the ball well last year, but the explosive plays while also being efficient at the same time is going to be front of mind for uh, new offensive coordinator Mike Sanford. Offered all cut a second touchdown pass right there. We saw some of JT Shroud still working his way back from last year's ACL, so he only participated in seven on seven, but they expect the competition in the fall. Alex Fontenot, the presumed starting running back, would not participate today, but Deion Smith ran hard. He had a productive year last year. The safety battle continues. Jordan Wolverton, the converted quarterback to safety, had the pick. And then how about Michael Harrison? The sophomore made a couple big catches. One on that diving catch, the Brendan Lewis dive into the end zone, the red zone sequence ended right there with the touchdown throw to Michael Harrison. The offense beat the defense to conclude the 15th and final practice for the Buffs. So the next time we see them on the field, it'll be September 2nd for the first ever meeting with TCU. And that is a difficult schedule ahead for Colorado. That's no cakewalk. Yeah, the, the theme of this spring was depth. They're going to need that depth this season. All three of those first uh, out-of-conference games really jump out at me. TCU, Air Force, and then a, a little reunion with Coach Stanford's old team, the Minnesota Golden Gophers, and then you obviously get into conference play. Capped off by the final game against Utah. It should be a Utah team that's really good. Hopefully that game has some significance. It'd be fun to be back here at the, in the end of, end of November with uh, some stakes on the line. Ralphie's first spring run today as she gets ready for her second season. Ralphie six, and we get ready uh, for Carl Durrell's third at the helm at Colorado. So, from Boulder, the Buffs optimistic about what's coming in the fall. We will see them then.